Okay, so now we're going to talk about some more complicated strumming patterns, because not all strumming patterns are just going to be very simple down, up and down kind of movements. So the main purpose of a strumming pattern is not only so that the chord rings out, but to also maintain rhythm. And one important thing to note is that the right hand should always be moving while strumming, even if you're not letting the chord ring out. So for example, let me give you this strumming pattern. So in that one there's a lot of rests in between the strokes, and there's an alternating up and down rhythm. But the entire time my hand is just moving constantly like this, if you think of a metronome. So I want you to practice that. So just strum an E minor chord, or any other chord that you choose, and just go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, which will sound like... But keep in mind, when I'm doing just the upstrokes, I'm still moving down at the same time I would be doing a downstroke. I'm just not hitting the strings when I do it, so the hand is in constant motion. So you can conceptualize it if you're just do going up and down, doing a straight strumming pattern. Then just start taking away notes instead of adding. So. Now the reason I'm teaching you this is so that you develop healthy habits moving forward because if you keep your arm in constant motion when strumming, no matter what the strumming pattern is, you're going to keep a constant time and you're going to keep a steady tempo. And another important feature is that when you keep your hand moving in a steady motion, when you hit down, you're hitting down on the strong downbeat of the song, and when you hit up, you're hitting on the up note of the song. So that way it keeps everything perfectly relative. Okay, so just practice the strumming pattern I showed you, the down, down, up, up, down. Until you feel comfortable with it, just keep make sure that you keep your hand in a steady motion the entire time, and that you're keeping perfect time. And I'm going to show you a David Bowie song called Space Oddity that uses a very special strumming pattern, just so you can see the application. Okay, so before we jump in, just let me show you the chords that we're going to use today. So the first chord in the progression will be the C chord, but it's going to be a very special C chord that's different from the one we used before, because it'll have the low note in it as well. So to play the C chord, you'll take your ring finger, put it at the third fret of the E string, your pinky finger at the third fret of the A string, your middle finger at the second fret of the D string, and your first finger at the first fret of the B string. So it'll look like this. Now the next chord is the E minor chord, which is very similar to the E major chord we showed you before, but without the first finger at the G string. So you can play it either with your index finger here or your middle finger whichever you're more comfortable with, but you'll just fret the 2nd fret of the A string and the 2nd fret of the D string. Okay, and we'll have this A minor chord again, which is just the middle finger at the 2nd fret of the D string, ring finger at the 2nd fret of the G string, and index finger at the first fret of the B string. And the last chord that we'll need is this D7 chord, which is very similar to the D chord, but with a dip one different note. So what we'll do is we'll put our middle finger at the second fret of the G string, 
or first finger at the first fret of the B string, and ring finger at the second fret of the E string. Okay, so those are the chords that we're going to be working with, and you can feel free to go back to this part of the video as we're learning the rest of the song, just so you can see the chords that we're using. Unfortunately, this song has a lot of parts, so I won't be able to show you the entire thing today. I will, however, show you what's important to the concepts that we're learning. So the song has a particular strumming pattern, which sounds like this. Okay, so the strumming pattern extends over two bars in the song, so I'll teach it to you in parts, and then we'll be able to put it all together at once. And just remember to keep the entire arm steady while you're strumming. Okay, so the first part of the strumming pattern goes down, down, up, down. So just practice that part, and just make sure you have that part down, and then we'll move on to the next one, which after that will go, which is down, up, up, down. So just put those first two parts together. steady while you do that so that the up strokes land on the upbeat and the down strokes land on the downbeat. Okay, and then after that we go down, up, down. And that'll be the whole thing. So I'll repeat each part for you. Down, down, up, down. Then you go down, up, up. Then end on down, up, down. So just practice that with just the C chord. start throwing in the other chords with it. Okay? So then the progression will just go between the C chord song which has an A minor chord and the strumming pattern is going to change slightly here so you're just going to repeat the first part of the strumming pattern over and over again so you hit your A minor chord then you'll take your pinky and move it over to the third fret on the E string and then you'll play this D7 chord which I showed you earlier So that whole part will sound like... And then you go back to that same part where you go between the... where you go between the C and the E. Okay, so I'll play that whole part for you just so you hear it.
so just practice with the techniques that I showed you today and be sure to use that anytime you do a strumming pattern. It's good to develop healthy habits early on so that way you keep them as you continue to learn guitar.